There's an old adage about typefaces that type can be like your shoes. There's a style that you're expressing in what you're choosing. And type is about making sure that a brand can communicate properly, but also shows the heart and soul of the company or the client who's using that brand to communicate to the world. Our clients don't tend to have a great grasp of typography. That's our job is to tell them for their business goals how our design and our typography can help them achieve what they're trying to achieve. Branding is very important because it unifies the look and then a message from the company. And so that includes everything from the look and feel, the styles, and the typeface choices. Typekit is a library that's integrated directly into Creative Cloud with web fonts and desktop fonts that you can use for any of your projects, for any of your clients, across all mediums. When I found out that Typekit fonts were a part of the Creative Cloud experience, it was a little bit like magic. So before we have a Creative Cloud and a Typekit, it's a challenge that we have to make sure that all the computers and freelance designers all have the font. So rather than just thinking about how will I communicate this feeling to users or consumers, you had to sit down and first think about, oh gosh, you know, is this font going to be licensed for the website I'm creating? Typekit made it really easy to sync fonts without worrying about the licensing, and being able to use them across teams and across platforms. I would filter by web use or desktop use. And this is a huge time saver because before I would have to do a lot of research. It's not limited to Creative Cloud applications. Every application is now affected by the new typefaces that are loaded onto my machine. Each font has a history and a description. Utopia is an Adobe Originals typeface designed by Robert Slimbach. When I'm talking to a client, to have that background on the typeface I'm choosing, that helps them to understand that I've done my research. When we started the Mule site redesign, we had this inspiration from these old 1960s Volkswagen ads, and they used uh, Futura, which is great for the 60s. And so we were looking for something that would evoke that lovely 60s chunky Futura on newsprint, but that would also look good on the web. So we went through Typekit, looked for geometric typefaces that were web ready and beautiful and chunky. We narrowed it down very quickly, tried them all out, all of us around a single computer saying, that one's good, that one's bad. It was easy to swap things out, track and kern until we found something that worked exactly the way we wanted it to. I actually follow the Typekit blog. They'll tell you when there's something new. But then every once in a while, I'll spend like a Saturday and I'm just hanging out and I'm like, okay, I think I'll go looking for fonts today because that's the type of thing I would do. <laughs> I love Typekit. I think it's the best resource for typefaces on the web. It's like a treasure box. I'm open up the treasure box and I find a, you know, my treasure and to put together, make that message, make the design.